Alrighty, today I'd like to talk to you about our two new microphones that we have. These are unpreamplified microphones and um, they work with IP cameras that accept mic level inputs. Um, so just note that not all of our IP cameras that have a microphone input can accept mic level. Um, some of them can only accept regular line level where you have to actually power the microphone. Um, but uh, most of all of our four megapixel IP cameras that we currently stock with a microphone input has mic level abilities. Um, pretty much all of our PTZ cameras have. But if you have any questions about which IP cameras will accept mic level inputs or not, just give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll be happy to check that out for you. You can also usually find that information on the spec sheets as well. Um, but you know, if you can't find it, just give us a call. We'll, we'll be happy to help you out on that. Um, but what makes these cameras unique is um, their ability to uh, receive power from the camera itself. Traditionally speaking, wiring a microphone was actually a big pain. Um, you know, we, we have another microphone. It's called a preamplified microphone, and that's a <clears throat> that's a line level microphone where you actually have to power the microphone. You know in addition to running an audio you know, cable to the camera. So you know, it was easy enough to run an audio cable from the camera to the microphone, but what was a pain is you would have to run an extra cable from the near, nearest power supply to the camera. Now, it was just a wiring pain. Um, this solves that problem. All you have to do is run this wire right here and plug it into the camera. Matter of fact, I'm making a video with this microphone right here. Um, it's this microphone right here is what I'm using. And I'm recording it to one of our four megapixel domes. It, this is the NSC-214WS-DM. So um, as you can see, it has really good audio quality. Um, very good, nice and clear. Not a lot of you know background noise. But uh, like I said, you, you just it's great because all you have to do is wire this directly to the camera. Now, um, we do have some cameras that accept this little 3.5 millimeter jack. For example, our fisheye cameras, a couple of our fisheye cameras will do that. But um, most of our cameras do not have this type of jack. So what that means is you actually have to cut this jack off and expose the wires and plug the wires into the uh, two wire input on the cameras and um, you can check out our instructions um, should be a link right now showing up on the um, video if you're watching from YouTube on how to access those instructions um, but anyways uh, you know this is our outdoor model and this is our indoor model um, you know typical you know, this is a um, they're both omnidirectional um, but this is a indoor model comes with a you know a long six foot cord and the microphone itself is very small and discreet, so if you have any covert type of uh, installations you need to do, you know, this is perfect. You can hide this anywhere you want to. Um, so, you know, great little indoor camera right there. That's indoor only. Now, this camera right here, it's actually outdoor rated. And um, what's, what's cool about it is if you can kind of see it right there, there's a foam windscreen. You can actually pull that out if you wanted to, but that, um, basically protects the uh, microphone from getting you know real windy sounds. Um, it, it's a windscreen is what it is, so it's, you're not going to hear a lot of wind um, in your microphone. So, and what else is cool about it is this screws into a half inch grommet um, hole, so uh, a half inch knockout. So if you, have, if you have your camera mounted near a junction box that uses half inch holes, this is great because this will plug directly. I mean, it'll screw directly into the half inch hole. So, you know, if you're using, you know, electrical junction boxes and you want to um, put all your camera, you know, your RJ45 connections in there, um, this is great because you can just screw that in there and this is the locking nut to lock it in. So that's just a great camera. Uh, you know, whenever you're mounting this, you obviously need to mount it like this um, because that's kind of a, a little bit of a rain shield. Um, you know, it, it's weatherproof, but you know, you don't want to, obviously, you don't want it pointing up like this, letting it get rained on, because that will ruin it. You want to, you know, you want to keep it like this, or downwards at least. So, 
these are great cameras. Um, we do have a tutorial where we have a blog describing how to wire these and feel free to take a look at that. And if you have any questions, just feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks a lot.